First story. AITA for leaking the phone number of the girl that kissed my BF? I know this sounds bad, but hear me out. I, 17F, am just minding my own business going to this party with my boyfriend, 18M. He got very drunk, which, to be fair, was a little cute, even though he spent most of the night hugging a traffic cone. Enter Valeria, 16F, fake name. The girl who apparently decided her mission for the night was to make out with my very drunk BF while I was just, like, five feet away. I mean, he was barely holding himself up, but I guess that's just Valeria's type. The next day, and I'm still fuming. I confronted my BF about it, and he was all like, I don't even remember, babe. She kissed me and honestly, I'm mostly over it. I'm not mad at him or anything. But Valeria? Not so much. So I posted her phone number in 34 Facebook fan pages for Kimberly Loeza, this influencer slash singer from my country who I find kind of embarrassing, but whatever, these fan pages are full of nine-year-olds who will defend Kimberly to the death. I told them it was Kimberly's personal phone number, the one she only gives to close friends. These kids were foaming at the mouth for this number. I could practically hear the tiny high-pitched shrieks through the screen. So then the fun begins. I see Valeria at school. And she's looking rough and I realize it's because these nine-year-olds have been blowing up her phone non-stop, asking if she's Kimberly and if they can be besties and can she please 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 follow them back. Last Friday, she had a complete breakdown in the middle of math class. Her phone is blowing up with calls and she's sobbing, whisper yelling at her phone to, please stop, while the teacher is just staring at her blankly as he tries to resume his class. I'm sitting in the back row biting my lips so hard trying not to laugh because I know this is probably not great, but also she kissed my BF? Anyway, my mom overheard me telling my older brother about it because my brother thought it was hilarious. And my mom goes off on me. He was all like, you're fucking cunt for doing that OMG what kind of bitch did I raise? And I was like, okay mom relax nobody's even hurt. It's not like I keyed her car, and maybe she'll learn not to kiss other people's BFS. Second story. Pregnant OOP found out her husband is having an affair with her HS bully. TL. DR I have found out that my husband is having an affair with my school bully for the last six months. I want to leave him without confronting him because I can't bear being the victim again. I just can't believe that he could fool me. His affair started six months ago. I could trace it six months back anyway. It could have been longer. There were no signs, no indications, no change of behavior, no change in the bedroom. I just found out by accident three weeks ago when his phone was on the nightstand. My husband was sleeping with my high school bully. I grew up in a small town and this woman bullied me severely in middle and high school. After graduation, I did everything to find job in a bigger city and moved leaving all the hurtful memories. I worked hard for a year, found an apartment, bought a car and later started college. That's where I met my husband. We got married two years ago. I'm eight weeks pregnant. He doesn't know yet. I will tell him eventually don't worry. When I was in college my bully reached out to me after we bumped into each other in a party. She was new in town and was glad she saw a familiar face. She never acknowledged what she did and I never confronted her. I didn't want to open old wounds however, I wasn't going to befriend her so I just rebuffed any attempt of reconnecting. She still moved in the same crowd as my husband and me. I never told my husband anything about her or our past. I wasn't even sure he knew her by name. Three weeks ago, when my husband was in the shower, he got a notification on Messenger. I thought it was odd since he's not been active on Facebook or Messenger in ages. We know each other's code so I looked, and there was her name and pictures telling him she missed his D asterisk CK. I scrolled a few messages back, and there was a full conversation. I felt sick and my eyes went blurry, so I just left the phone back where it was and acted like nothing. Over the next two weeks, I looked in his phone whenever I could. I found out that my husband deleted Messenger when he didn't use it, except for the time he forgot. I started doing the same. Whenever he's sleeping, playing games, or out for a run, I took his phone and installed Messenger. I could trace back their relationship six months. They've been sleeping together for four. A lot of graphic description of what they want to do or have done to each other, but also a lot about me, although it was often one-sided. It's always my bully asking questions and trying to get answers about me, and my husband either reluctantly answering or outright telling her not to talk about me. But they've discussed my sex life, and apparently I'm vanilla. To her constant questions about if he preferred me better, he answered that it's different, and he doesn't want to compare. 
Discussions about me often ended in him getting irritated and stopped answering for days. I have never cried my whole life combined compared to these last few weeks. I want to leave my husband, but I don't want to tell him why. I don't want to give him or my bully the satisfaction of knowing that they hurt me. I just want to ask for divorce and just tell him that I wasn't in love with him anymore and that I'm not happy in our marriage. It won't be lying, technically, because he's not the man I loved and I'm not happy in our marriage. I haven't told anyone what I've found out, but I've told my mom that I want to leave my husband and stated the reasons above. She went berserk. This is so out of the blue and moronic, and the first question she asked was whether I was cheating on him or not. This was a preview to what probably everyone else will think and say, but honestly I would rather live with being the perpetrator than the victim this time. I just can't let that be hurt me again. Watch me suffer and enjoy it. I just can't. I know I'm being irrational right now, but please put yourself in my shoes and tell me what you would do in my stead. Third story. AITA for not making my schedule work so my youngest stepsister could go to a party? There's some background that will provide some context about why dad's angry at me. My mom died when I, 17 M, was 7. My brother was 6. When we were 10 and 11, our dad remarried. My dad's wife came with three daughters. Her youngest is a half-sister to the two older ones. Older two are 16 and 14. Her youngest is 9. My dad and his wife also have a 4 and a 2-year-old together. So one thing that I should mention is my dad's wife lost her first husband, the dad of the older two. Her youngest was conceived not long after her husband's death. The dad of her youngest didn't want to know. And the girls never forgave her or got over her doing that so fast and they hate my youngest stepsister. My brother and I don't hate anyone. But being honest I see him differently to the steps and halves. I love my brother. I'd say he's my real sibling while the others are steps and halves. I guess I'd say I'm mostly indifferent to them. I don't dislike them but I don't have their back always like I do for him. He's pretty much the same. Older steps don't like any of the rest of us and are hostile. The youngest step really wants her older sisters to love her. She doesn't really notice the rest of us. But it's very easy to see it breaks her heart when the other two want nothing to do with her and they treat her like she's disgusting. The youngest two are really little but will play together. My dad and his wife had this dream that we'd be a way closer family unit and that we'd be more like an actual family than we are. Dad has talked to me about being the person who brings us all together as the oldest in the family. He told me I have such a good relationship with my brother and he wants us to have the same with the others. He asked me like a year ago if I didn't want that and I said no, which made him interact with me differently. This all brings us to yesterday. Youngest stepsister was supposed to be going to a birthday party. Dad was already at work. His wife was really sick. I had work too but in the past I called and said I'd be late to do something for my brother. My boss is cool with stuff like that. Oldest stepsister was going to a friend's house and was passing the house the party was at. But she refused to take youngest stepsister. She left while her mom was trying to get her to take her. Middle stepsister also refused and left the house as well. My brother wasn't home and I left for work while dad's wife was comforting youngest stepsister, who was upset my other stepsisters wouldn't take her. When I got home last night, dad called me an asshole, and he told me I could have taken her, and if she was my brother, I would have called to be late to work and taken him. He told me I had the chance to really reach out and create a bond between me and her and I didn't and I showed him that I will always have a favorite and never try to hide it. He told me he's sick of the two of us sticking by each other but not doing the same for the others.